With YouTube attacking alternative media, please consider supporting the channel via Patreon for just a dollar per month. Link below. This is actually kind of a follow-up on a story I covered the other day, or sorry, uh, the ongoing coverage, I should say, of the Black Panther Rotten Tomato score. <laughs> because now what we've got is we've got uh, the, the, the critic, right? One critic gave the movie a bad rating, right? And, and, and people are losing their damn minds. Right, they're, they're losing their damn minds over this. So it says here that on Thursday, Black Panther got its first and only negative critical review so far. It was inevitable. Not everyone all likes the same movies, except for Paddington 2, which still has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. But Black Panther was so close to keeping a perfect score. Reviews came out on Tuesday, and the film had a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes for two days. Critics praised the movie for its villain, played by Michael B. Jordan, as well as its political statement and bold departure from the tired superhero movie formula. A handful called it the best movie, the best movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Well, that's true. A lot of people really liked it. A lot of people, and I've seen a lot of weird commentary coming out of Twitter, which makes sense. That's coming out of Twitter saying, you know, this is a movie that uh, ultimately people, you know, this is like, oh, this is what would have happened if there was no colonialism that ever hit Africa. This is this is how things would truly be. Never mind the fact that Black Panther was actually created by white guy so there's that but i mean it's i understand the desire for it i do i just find it funny that it's like we're seeing all of these hot takes that are saying like black panther is the first black superhero movie and then there's wesley snipes going like pardon me uh 20 years ago blade came out and we did two more movies after that so was say what you know i mean like everyone it's the same thing with Wonder Woman, too. They said the same thing. It's like, oh, it's the first, uh, you know, female-led franchise or something like that. They, they really tried playing this part. And everyone's like, yeah, but what about, uh, like, Sigourney Weaver from Aliens, Mila Jovovich from Resident Evil, Kate Beckinsale from Underworld? These movies have multiple entries in the franchise with a leading lady that always seem to get overlooked when it comes to discussing these particular issues surrounding identity politics. Because really, it's all about trying to be the most provocative you can be, uh, even though these people that are writing these articles probably don't even know the history of this stuff. Never, because they, they don't, I don't think, I don't think a lot of people who write about these things actually ever involve themselves in it. They just do it because it's a paycheck. Now it says, but not everyone loved it. The first negative review came in from Ed Power, a film critic who writes for the Irish Independent. <laughs> and hey, listen, I'm just saying, I'm saying the whole idea there, you've got Wakanda being an independent nation within Africa and the Irish have wanted an independent nation for a long time. So this guy's probably got a little bit better insight in, in some of the power struggles that could be at play in Black Panther than some of the woke people on Twitter who have never left the United States. Now, he says here, the reason Power didn't think Black Panther uh, beat up enough bad guys says what he doesn't get in, uh, get to do much is jump around beating up bad guys, Power wrote. That's a shame. Marvel has finally given us an African superhero. The hope surely was that he would be allowed to do superhero things. <laughs> OK, so there's not a lot of action scenes in the movie is what I'm taking from this. Uh, some people on Twitter criticize the critic for missing the point of the movie, which marks a significant moment in Hollywood and culture. They also question Power's taste. And I, I love this, too, because, again, it boils down to, like, this is his opinion of it. And he's the one person to speak out and, and attack it, uh, ultimately. And it's pretty it, – not even attack it, but just say, like, ah, it wasn't for me. You know, it just, I didn't feel he beat up enough people. I felt like it was kind of – you know, I think it was wasted opportunity for action because these movies are about action. Right. I mean, even Captain America Winter, Sol Winter Soldier, which was a, a really kick ass uh, political thriller, still had insane action sequences in it. And and that, you know, and I, the, from what I can see from the trailers of Black Panther, there's a lot in there, too. I'm excited to go see it next week. Um, <laughs> so here, here's what he says here. Uh, Black Panther spirals into a stodgy tale of in intercenine or uh, internecine feuding. Uh, in which Chakala is required to come to terms with the sins of past generations. What he doesn't get to do much of is jump around beating up bad guys. That's a shame. Um, <laughs> but you got to love it here. Ian Miles Chong, who is a friend of mine, uh, you know, called it out. Said this guy's going to pay after pay or press F to pay respects because uh, he's going to get destroyed. And uh, and yeah, like people are mad. Like people are legitimately mad about this. But you have to understand, too, is that when it comes to reviewing a movie it is all about the the person's uh experience you know it is what they feel they go into the movie and they think uh the story was okay but the action was lacking or there was a lot of really good action but the story wasn't all the way there uh, not everyone is going to view the same movie 
uh, the same way. And that is one of the reasons why we do have reviewers. What I love about this though, is that people once again are putting this, what I feel is unearned credit, this unearned praise on the Rotten Tomato score as if that is the be all end all. And if you wanna know why I'm all for the abolition and the abolishment of Rotten Tomatoes is because of this type of article where are people who are super upset at the fact that one reviewer didn't like the movie. And so they, so, so they go and they attack this guy for having an opinion, right? And that, that is more akin to where things are in terms of social progressives right now than it is anything that Black Panther is doing in terms of representation. And as harsh as that is to say out loud, I do believe it is abundantly true. We live in a world where people would rather attack a guy who, uh, you know, attack, attack the dude who didn't care for the movie because the main character didn't beat up enough people for his tastes in a Marvel movie. It makes me really wonder if he enjoyed Doctor Strange at all, considering there was like one real fight he got into in the whole movie. You know, um, I, you have to ask yourself, like, is it is that big of a deal? And the answer is no, it's not. So instead of, you know, being mad at this guy. Uh, they could sit there and praise what they like about the movie, talk about what they like about the movie, uh, talk about what they'd like to see in future films, talk about how they'd like to see the world of Wakanda expanded in uh, in sequels. But instead, they rely on outrage culture as a way to sell a narrative instead of actually just, well, I don't know, thank you for them damn selves.